Good evening, family, friends, and fans. This is Stephanie Derrick. So good to see you. Oh my, this day, this is for really women only tonight because what I have to discuss comes from a group called the BBG. For the ones who don't know me, I'm Stephanie Derrick and AKA Radiance. And I know y'all haven't seen Radiance in a while, but Radiance is who I am when I'm singing. So that's my name. And I represent RadianceMusic.com. So whenever you want to listen to some neo soul, smooth jazz, music of the world, check out Radiance. All right. So today, oh my goodness, hold on to your seatbelt. Know it's a lot going on. I may have some people coming in live on Facebook Live, or you might catch me in my replay. You might see me later. But what I have to share with you today, it ain't pretty. It's not. But if you're a strong woman, you need to be on listening today. If not, you need to check it out at a later date. So these are things black women need to hear to survive and thrive. Oh, my. So put your seatbelt on because this will be a bumpy and ugly ride. So I'm just gonna tell you now, this came from a group called the BBG. So I found it on the internet. I saved it back in 2016. I will share as much as I can, but when I get to about 20 minutes and if I'm not done, I'm gonna go in and cut it off and then you can email me for the rest, all right? So I don't know who's on, Hello to everybody who's on. I can't see you. No one's showing up in my uh, feed so far. But hopefully, we're going to go and get started. I've seen a like or two. So, good to see you, whoever you are. <laughs> All righty. Oh, Elena. I see you, Elena. I think that was you. All right. So, I'm not going to do these by numbers because I can't even keep up, okay? So, we're just going to start. I'm going to say number one. Okay, so number one. Here it is, accept nothing less than the best in your love, your career, and in your life. That's the key to happiness. I'm turning my mic just in case. Accept nothing less than the best in love, your career, and in your life. That's the key to happiness. We're moving on. Number two, I'm going to give you some numbers. I'm going to try. Your past does not have to be your future. Now, you know that's the truth. Your past does not have to be your future. You could have been a horrible wife the first round, second round, third round, but it does not have to be your future. So just remember that, ladies. Number three, take responsibility for your life. You control your reactions, your emotions, choices, your body, and your life. Take responsibility for your life, ladies. You control your reactions, emotions, choices, mm, body, and life. I hope that helps somebody. Number four, travel the world. Travel the world. Number five, try everything. Even the stuff that scares you, our fears are irrational. Try everything. Even the stuff that scares you, our fears are irrational. I truly believe that. Number six, date. I mean actual dating. Netflix and chill is an option men give women so that he can get cheap booty. Give that to him, and he'll always treat you like cheap booty. Men value women who demand more. Mmm, ladies, I hope you heard something for that, because look, that said a, a mouthful right there. That really did. I don't know why I'm see If somebody's there, can y'all put something in the comments so I know if you're there? Because I'm not seeing anything. 
Oh, okay. For some reason, you just popped up. Hello, Kim, Natalie, and Bonita. Good to see you. I don't know what happened. That was kind of strange. All right. So I'm going to say that one again. Date. I mean actual dating. Not this Netflix and chill trash. Netflix and chill is an option men give women so that he can get cheap booty. Give that to him and he'll always treat you like cheap booty. Men value women who demand more. Mm. Next, the dating stage is where he is supposed to prove his worthiness of you. Mm. If you tell a man you don't like expensive meals, dates, etc., because you are afraid he will think you are a gold digger or you're different from other women who probably said the same thing, he'll always give you cheap. Again, men value women who demand more. If he gives you cheap on his best, imagine what he would do on his worst. Oh man, ladies, I know y'all heard something in that. I know you did. Because look, I can testify. <laughs> this dating world is, woo, it's really rough. <laughs> okay. This was quite interesting. Next, date all kinds of men. Pick a mate based on their actions and not potential. Man, I tell you, I be liking potential. I'll say it again. Date all kinds of men. Pick a mate based upon their actions and not potential. Ooh, next. Stay away from broke and broken men that need to be fixed. I know I'm going to have to say that again. Stay away from broke and broken men that need to be fixed. People aren't projects to be put together. That is what therapy is for. And you aren't a therapist. Man, they call me like I am the queen of therapy. Wow. Next. <laughs> That's why I can resonate with this list. If a man can't afford a date, he certainly can't afford marriage. Oh my, if a man can't afford a date, he certainly cannot afford marriage. Ladies, I had to listen. I know this is some hard truth, but please listen. <laughs> Next, never chase a man. Ooh, it reeks of desperation. When you're desperate, you can be manipulated. Let men prove they are worthy of you. Oh, ladies, that's good. I had to say it again. Never chase a man. It reeks of desperation. When you're desperate, you can be manipulated. You have the power. Use it. Let men prove they are worthy of you. We just preaching to the choir right here. Thanks for preaching to me. <laughs> Next, if a man loves you, he will come to you with his stuff together. If not, he's holding you back because he's afraid you'll find someone better. Mmm. If a man loves you, he will come to you with his stuff together. If not, he's holding you back because he's afraid you'll find someone better. Been there, done that. <laughs> Next. If a man asks you, what do you bring to the table? He doesn't value womanhood, and he isn't ready for you. You are the table. Forks, knives, plate, spoon, and the butter. A woman's presence 
instantly improves a man's quality of life. A married man lives longer. He is healthier and happier. He has a support system. It is women who have the most to lose in marriage. Woo, woo, y'all, that was deep. It was so true. Oh my gosh. I have to say it again. Ladies, let it just resonate in your spirit. This is coming from a once married woman of 15 years. This is the truth. All right, say it again. If a man asks you, what do you bring to the table? He doesn't value womanhood and he isn't ready for you. You are the table, forks, plates, knives, napkins, spoons, and the butter. A woman's presence instantly improves a man's quality of life. A married man lives longer. He is healthier and happier. He has a support system. It is women who have the most to lose in marriage. Man, that was just the truth. Oh my gosh, that was good. Next. Remember, this is that hard, bumpy road. Y'all got your, I hope you got that uh, seatbelt on. If he disrespects you the first time and you let him get away with it, he will do it again. Men love to see how far you will let them go. If you set boundaries from the start and stick to them, they will not cross them. So I'll say it again. If he disrespects you the first time and you let him get away with it, he will do it again. Men love to see how far you will let them go. If you set boundaries from the start and stick to them, they will not cross them. Mm, this list is good. Yes. Now, this is for those ones who's a, just got a, a little wild itch in you. Just got a little itch. <laughs> Get on birth control, ladies. Having children you can't afford is an easy way to get in poverty. Ooh, that's hard. Mm. Get on birth control. Having children you can't afford is an easy way to get in poverty. Y'all know y'all need to be sharing this video with some ladies. You know need to hear this hard truth. You know it. It's so serious. Oh my gosh. Wow. Mm, mm, mm. It's just good. Next. This one's really hard. Oh my. Wait until marriage to have children and make sure he is a provider. Oh yes. Children need more than love. I don't give a heck what people think. It was another word there. Sure, some children came out fine, but why take that chance when you don't have to? Raising children is hard and expensive as heck. Children need stable financial and parental support. That is just the truth. You know, if you get married, check him out. See how he provides just for you. And if it looks like he's able to handle things, then bring children into the marriage. It's very important. All right, next. This one, a lot of my friends have a hard time with this. one. Never forget your girlfriends. While you are in a relationship, if he is gone, You'll always have your girl's shoulders to cry on. If somebody believe me, all y'all got to do is tap a little heart or hit a little like. Never forget your girlfriends while you are in a relationship. If he is gone, you'll always have your girl's shoulders to cry on. It's the truth. Next. 
have a life, <laughs> be interesting. Like I said earlier, travel, learn another language, find out who you are. Finding out who you are separates you from the masses who copy someone else. We copy others because most of us are boring. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ouch! Stepping on some toes, baby. You better be interested. Ho, ho. <laughs> Next. Love yourself more than you love any man. I have to say that again for the cheap sheet. The cheap seats, ladies. Love yourself more than you love any man. Oh, you got to know your value. You need to know your worth, ladies. All right. Next, fall in love with a man who loves you more than you love him. Fall in love with a man who loves you more than you love him. Y'all can just take that directly from me. Do that. It's wonderful. <laughs> Been there, done that. <laughs> All right, next. If you can't do any of the last 17 things, oh Lord, go to therapy before getting into a relationship. Fix you first. Oh my gosh, I'm going to say that again. If you can't do any of the last 17 things, go to therapy before getting into a relationship. Fix you first. All right. Now, I'm going to cut this list because let me tell you, it goes on. But I think I'm going to save that rest for tomorrow. If you really like that, say something. I can't see anything. I don't see any action going on. So I don't know if you stayed and watched this video, but you all, if you want a copy of this list, plus my next part of the list, make sure that you go to stephaniederrick.com and leave your name and an email address. Oh, thank you. Somebody is out there somewhere. You know, that was some hard truth. I'm just going to have to tell you it was hard. Oh, Lord, I had some men listening. Man, why y'all listening? Don't be sneaking in here listening. But it was hard truth. But it's great for a woman. So a woman to really know who they are. Uh, I can tell you that this the rest of my list is even more powerful than the first 17 things that I talked about. So you all, it's been wonderful tonight. Uh, I always try to share some things. But make sure that you tag this to somebody who might need to hear that, who are having a hard time with themselves. And you know it, it might be your great friend or something. So, like I say again, these are things black women need to hear to survive and thrive. You are looking at a survivor and also a thriver. But it's not without hard work and persistence and without the God that I serve. So, you all, Stephanie Derrick, love you all, and peace.